In this video, we will be looking at the events functionality and the events content type within OpenY. As you can see here, we're starting off on the main events page for this particular demo version of OpenY. And this has got the main events listing uh, block here on this page. So we can see all of the events that have been added to the site. Uh, there's only been two on this particular demo version here, so not a whole load to, to list out here. Um, but you can see here that this allows the user to filter on these events that you have saved in the OpenY system, either by location or a text search as well. Uh, and they can visually obviously see information about the events that are happening, including the, the date, um, the title of the event, also where the event's going on and the time as well. So if we just click through to one of these events, uh, we'll just have a quick look at an example that exists, and then we'll just go through how to add a new event to your site from scratch uh, and how that then um, all comes together at the end uh, to update that events listing block. So the main events page here that we see um, has a few different elements. We've got um, an image that we saw on the teaser on the uh, listing block. We then have a, a section where there's uh, an area for other content. So this would give us more information about the event or you know, maybe even more images, et cetera. And then on the sidebar area, you can see here, we've got the location of the event, the address, and this is an existing location within your OpenY site that's been linked through here. So all of this address and contact information is actually pulled from that location that's already been set up. So that saves a little bit of time as well. Uh, there's a nice little get directions feature here, which would use Google Maps to give me directions to that location. And also we've got the day and time, uh, the start time and end time of the event um, and an option to add this to a calendar as well um, from any of the options given here. So to add a new event for your open website, we're going to go through to the content menu here. And we're going to then select the add content option from the list of all the content types that we have on our open Y site. We're looking for the event content type. So this will allow us to, uh, well, it will take us to the, the backend editing uh, screen for our new event where we can start to fill out all the information and content here. So the first thing we want to do is, um, give our event title. I'll use a very imaginative name there. We can then um, link this to an existing location on the site. So let's say that this one's taking place in our South YMCA. And that was uh, the same reference that I was just saying. So it's using an existing location. So all that information of address and phone numbers, emails is coming from that location or locations. You can do more than one um, if it applies maybe to all. Um, but that that's already coming through. So we don't need to go and re-enter that information, which is a great time saver to not have double um, uh, data entry. So here we can set a start date, uh, start date and time and an end date and time. Um, so we could do this over multiple dates if we wanted to. Um, but for this particular location, uh, sorry, for this particular event, um, I'm just going to select uh, that this is just happening over one day. Maybe it's happening from... 9 a.m. and our event finishes up there at 12 p.m. there. We then have our next two sections, which is our content area and sidebar. So starting with the content area, uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is select our image for this event. So this isn't only the image that's going to be displayed on the event page itself. It's also the image that's used in our teaser for the event listing as well. And so that's what the user will see there. And then we can enter our content. I'm just going to copy in um, a little bit of lorem ipsum just in the case of just trying to save a little bit of time here. But this is where you could add plenty of content if you wanted to uh, about the event. You can also add different um, blocks uh, that you have available in your open Y site um, as you would add it to almost any other uh, page that you're editing within your site if you needed to. Uh, but obviously the WYSIWYG lets you do kind of most things, including, you know, formatting images, et cetera, um, in terms of the simple content here. Um, and then, yeah, we have a sidebar area as well. So you'll, you'll note, um, that when we looked at the events page example, we, we had all the information about the event, the location, the day, the time, content information. 
So we don't need to add that again here. As I mentioned, that's all coming from the information that we've referenced here in terms of the location on your OpenY site and also the dates here. We could, if we wanted to, continue to add to that sidebar area below that um, with, uh, again, just adding another block or maybe simple content, um, but you don't need to. So I'm just going to leave that blank here for now, just so we can see what we've got. Um, so you can see straight away um, we have our new event. We can see it's added to the events um, URL structure. Um, and we've got our image that we've used. We've got the information about our South YMCA, our time and date, um, and our content information for the South YMCA. Obviously, if you select more than one here, it will just list multiple um, in this sidebar section. And then we've got our um, main content description area down the bottom here as well. Um, so yeah, once we go back to our events page, we'll now see that on our events listing uh, as, our, as our third option here. So these go up into rows of four and once we've got four, it would continue on to the next row and the next row, et cetera. Um, and obviously the user can then continue to use these filters to narrow down results. Um, and the default order of these is by the most recent event would be first to the event that's happening the furthest in the future last. So you can see these are organized by date, the 30th of September through to the 14th of October. Uh, that concludes the overview of the events functionality and events content type. Uh, I hope this has been useful and thank you for listening.